Hi guys, so we're back for our fourth episode. In the previous one we went on a little field trip with Rachel Amber. We even slowly started falling in love with each other. But then we saw some random guy kissing a young girl in the park and we started an argument with Rachel. Could it be her dad? Later on we started smashing everything. Hopefully things will get better. Let's go! This music again. Crying, sweetheart. Oh. oh, the raven. Because you're not real. We're in a car leading to nowhere. Oh, that's Rachel, Rachel Ember. This flyer here is the symbol of Rachel. If we move it, it's like we're forgetting about Rachel. But we still want her as a friend, or even more. I guess I did that. A lover's quarrel, you might say? Sometimes, people need you, though. Even when they don't admit it. It's true. Oh, wow. It's like a nightmare. She needs us. She has problems. We can maybe Rachel. help her. The car crush again. It's always brutal. So we fell asleep right there. Wow. And now where are we going? Is Rachel actually there? You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? Told you. The ones who were making out? That was my dad. Knew it! Alright. And that woman was definitely not my mom. I love him. And... I never want to see his fucking face again. When my dad died, I was so mad at him. For months, I felt wrong because half the time I thought of him, I wanted to scream. And the other half, I forgot. I've carried this photo around with me for years. It's from Mount Hood. My dad took me hiking there when I was 10 and it started raining and I fell and broke my arm three miles from the car. But my dad, he carried me down the mountain. He was just so strong, you know, I, I felt safe. No one's safe. No one's ever safe. Whatever's going on between us, She's it's finally saying it. Intense and new and awesome and- Oh. You had the courage feels to good tell to hear me all that. feel it too. And I treated you like shit. <laughs> True that. You're a badass, Chloe Price. What I wouldn't give to leave this place and never look back. What's stopping us? Let's leave this place forever. Okay. <laughs> wow, and we're saying just okay. What about our mom? I don't know if it's the best decision there. To leave everything behind. That must have been real hard to do. Fire is a very important theme. Like before the party. Like the big fire that will burn the whole forest coming. Oh, oh no! What the fuck? So that was the end of the first episode, Awake. So we started this big fire. Will Rachel and Chloe leave the country and leave their family behind? Let's see what happens next. And now we're in trouble. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process, and the other is all too familiar with it. Guilty. Back okay. Violated. Reality check time. Rachel really did start that fire, and that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um, what? <laughs> She's in love, dude. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. We did? I don't remember that. I'm you getting expelled. You engaged in the following actions yesterday, attempting to sabotage the academic goals of one of our top students. Oh, so I'm responsible. Victoria Chase. <laughs> Victoria Chase, what about her? She cheated. Academic goals like doing her own homework? Why is Chloe being punished for someone else's plagiarism? Mm -hmm. Victoria will be reprimanded as well. I doubt it. Yeah, I bet. For her plagiarism, Miss Chase might have been suspended if Mr. Prescott hadn't spoken what? to me on Victoria's behalf. And we have witnesses saying Miss Price was also involved 
in a bullying incident of the same Mr. Prescott. <sighs> bullying incident. The hell I was. I stood up for that little weirdo. Yes. I suppose that's one interpretation. One of interpretation. That's the Say truth. Say what you will about my daughter, but she is not a bully. Yes, mom. Should we reassure mom or come principal Wells? I'm more into reassuring my mom. Mom, you know this is all bullshit, right? I'm beginning to suspect that myself. Team Price. You severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. I'm you getting expelled. My hand. This is a consequence your of your hand. actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to. I made her do it. What? 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 Oh. What? Yesterday was all me. Thanks. My idea. Big shot, I thanks. was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this. But I wouldn't listen. Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt. So she came with me. But only to keep me safe. <laughs> Such a talented actress. Of course, of course, Rachel, I can forgive you. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm not so talented. <laughs> Thank you. I'll make it up to you. She <laughs> really is an amazing actress. I could say bullshit. No, I'd say yeah, fine. She has a better reputation than we do. It was her idea, but it's not like she kidnapped me. We were in it together. You're sure Chloe Price didn't coerce you or wow, coerce did, her? Wow, just, they just want me out of the school, I'm right? Because I'm the, of why someone like the traveled Chloe. student. I think we're clear, Principal Wells. You have no right to treat Chloe this way. This is because she's on financial aid, isn't it? Let's all just calm down. <laughs> After everything we... She's been through in the last two years, you should be ashamed of yourself. Miss Price. She's Mrs. right. Price. Oh, <laughs> I get it. This is about Blackwell's money troubles. Someone like Rachel, but not my daughter. Miss Amber, I am as surprised as I am disappointed in you. I understand. Oh no, she's this taking all the blame the now. I feel guilty. No way reduces its severity. You will no longer be my administrative assistant, and you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of Oh, Oh, she's an actress. Wow, let her do what oh. she likes. I'm sure you're understudy. Victoria Chase. How fitting. Oh, perfect. Yes, I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. Now we want to defend her. What? Are you insane? So if we go along, you see, there's no fight. But if we take the blame, we can maybe discuss, maybe have something better for both of us. No way is Rachel missing the play for me. Well, I need to play very fine here. Get your head out of your ass, Wells. <laughs> <laughs> you seriously think yesterday was Little Miss Sunshine's idea? Miss Amber has accepted her responsibility. You're punishing her for taking the blame for me? For trying to be a good person? Rachel confessed. Are you calling her a liar? Well, you should, you confess. should confess to falling for her crap. I don't blame you, though. She's one hell of an actress. You don't have to do this. It's okay. Really. How about you don't take credit for my shit? I shouldn't have pulled Rachel out of class. If I'd known she couldn't handle it, I would have gone it alone. Why speak up, Miss Price? Your words do not exonerate Rachel, but they do further implicate you. Why? To tell the truth, for once. Something that happens so rarely around here. Everyone that was lies. So I've intense. Heard enough. Rachel, you were clearly trying to cover for your classmate. You will not be removed from the play. Thank you. And Miss Price, I came into today's meeting planning to suspend you for the rest of the school year. And now? You are expelled. I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. Just you and me. Hey, Skip. Fuck them. <laughs> Bunch of fascists. It sucks what is happening to you. Thanks, Skip. You're gonna be missed. Dad got Bongo from the rescue shelter. Then oh. he got run over by a car. No one's ever really rescued. Fuck every inch of this place. Bathroom. Now I can have fun. No one asked me for dances because I only know how to flail. Smoke it. 
Man, she can draw. <laughs> wow, that's beautiful. Memories. Now we're free. But stay in school, kids. <laughs> stay in school. Wow. The Raven. <laughs> Barb. <laughs> I remember Barb on the right. <laughs> Look at who's coming. Yes, I did that. Uh, okay. Yeah. Bye. Elitist Blackwell bird. <laughs> I was expelled. Holy shit. I'm surprised it took this long, too. <laughs> That's so sad. Do you want a hug? We're with Rachel now. So I say no. Sorry, Elliot, but you just gotta know. I'm probably gonna hang out with Rachel. I better go. I'm sorry, dude. Uh, my mom is waiting to sick her attack mustache on me. <laughs> her attack her mustache. Her boyfriend. Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. She's my mother. If my mother has something to say, she will say it to me. She has. The problem is, you don't listen. Someone needed my help. Someone needed my help. I need your help. Me, your mother. Now what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Let's try to make things better. Sure. Reset button pressed. Chloe, I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. I'm sorry, but David feels- Joyce. We feel this is the best way to start fresh. Big decision here again, so we could comply and leave all our belongings there, we could refuse and fight. If we comply, we're gonna be closer to our family, which is what I want, but if we refuse, we might be closer to Rachel. Let's comply. And we took Ooh, the picture. Weed! Oh no, the horror. The best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. No fucking way! Chloe, after everything that's replacing happened... Replacing our dad now. I'm at a loss. I need but help. He's not replacing our dad. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly... We're accepting it. Hey! There is no home. Not if he's there. No school, no home. Where are we going? How do you know which way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down? Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. The junkyard. This can be my new home. Oh, wow. Shit. The fire. Crazy that something so destructive can also be so beautiful. Chloe is How like the fire. fire that began in a trash can could grow to light up the entire sky. This will become my new car in the future. Remember, we're good at fixing stuff. The first thing it needs is a new battery. This thing looks somewhat new. I know that trick. This is the thing that makes the other things do, do their, their things. things. The pick of the litter. Ooh, shit. I felt it. This thing needs more love than I can give right now. Maybe I can spruce it up a bit. Let's make it patient. <laughs> I know someone who would be very happy here. The singing man. You can hang here, but I get to pick the tunes. Maybe there's another light bulb I can put in here. Oh, let's take the light bulb. You might not work. Probably a good idea to cover over this with something. This could cover that torn seat and look awesome doing it. Oh, beautiful. While an escape hatch could be nice, 
You should cover that life endangering floor hole. Who's calling me? Bryce, it's Frank. Just checking in to see how you're doing. Really? No. Listen. <laughs> business to discuss. Where can we meet? What about business? Oh, like drugs? I'm hanging out in the junkyard north of town. Stay there, I'll see you soon. Am I gonna become a dealer? A new career? You only get one chance to make a first expression. Something frightening. You are about to die. Most people probably wouldn't wear a beanie they found in a junkyard. This'll do. It's honk. <laughs> because why not? Alright, time to relax. In my own time, I'm trying to read. There's a hole in the earth here. And we're walking around the edge. Chloe definitely has a hard life. Shit. I slept all day. Well, what? Chloe Price, hell? you're about to die. Wow. Is it a dream? Oh, and that's my dad again. I miss him so much. You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Fire blinds us, just like darkness. But darkness blinds with absence, with loss. What does fire blind with? Beauty. True. But sometimes there's a greater beauty yet to come. It's like a warning. Incredible. Fire is jealous, Chloe. That's why you need to be careful. Careful of what? Becoming a nightmare. Oh, that's horrible. No, don't want to okay. see that. Burn. Big danger is about to come. And I must be prepared. Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? <laughs> Look who's speaking. You could start a fire. Are you going to invite me in? I love giving rides to strange drifters. Hop in. Oh man, she... She packed her bags, right? That is dark. Too dark. Perfect, Perfect dark. dark. Alright guys, so that's where we're gonna end this episode. We're at the junkyard with Rachel Ember. She packed her bags. She wants to escape. It might be the start of a new adventure. Since we got expelled. And since we don't want to go back home. Because David is just trying too hard to be our new dad. And we don't want that. Also Frank, our dealer, called us. Like we have some business together. I guess more trouble is coming. Let's see in the next episode if we're gonna escape with Rachel or not. I'll see you there.